After a week of heavy fog, farmers in the Mexican states of Oaxaca started to notice black spots forming on the leaves of their maize plants. That was in early October. Umberto Castro, an agronomist at University of Chapingo in Oaxaca and a long-time collaborator, asked me to come down to confirm suspicions that these new lesions were the first signs of Tarspot. Tarspot is a disease found across the Americas in the tropical and damp areas and is especially prevalent in fields near river banks. Although the disease has been reported in Oaxaca before this year, it had not previously affected yields, so farmers largely ignored it. As a maize pathologist for the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, an important part of my job is to identify and help contain outbreaks of diseases like Tarspot. That is why I put my other work on hold and started off to Oaxaca to officially identify the disease. Once I arrived, I met up with Umberto, who lives and works in the area and collaborates with farmers across the state. He took me to visit and speak with some of the farmers whose crop had been affected by the disease, and in every field it was the same. They were small, raised black points on the leaves of the maize plants, surrounded by a light, chlorotic halo. Within 8 to 15 days, the leaves would be completely and prematurely dried as the disease infects other parts of the plant. The farmers looked concerned, but having not dealt with the transport in years, no one could predict how severe the damage would be come harvest. In December, I went back. The disease had devastated the fields and cut yields by as much as 50 and even 90 percent in extreme cases. That is because when conditions are favorable, Tarspot completely dries the leaves, making them unable to produce photosynthesis. So when cobs do form, they do not feel properly, resulting in shriveled grain. Once a field is infected, there's very little that can save the cropping cycle. The damage is already done for 2012. That is why I will be working with farmers across the area in 2013. Fortunately, CIMIT has been evaluating inbred lines and hybrids against the transport disease across its field stations in Mexico. The first step will be to evaluate these CIMIT lines by conducting trials in farmers' fields under natural conditions. Many of the farmers I spoke with offered part of their land, free of charge, for this research. Why? Because more than anyone, they feel the effects of a bad harvest. More than anyone, they want answers. Their livelihoods depends on it. To learn more about how CIMIT is fighting diseases like Tarspot, visit CIMIT.org.